I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Trump loyalist Roger Stone, who's under investigation for possibly colluding with the Russians to defeat Hillary Clinton, has a Richard Nixon back tattoo. Uh, question, how many tattoo parlors do you have to visit before you find one that has Richard Nixon in the catalog of choices? Bullfighter Antonio Romero was gored by a bull during a recent bout in Mexico City. The bull's horn ended up 11 inches up Romero's rectum, causing severe injuries. Yeah, you think? On Tuesday, President Trump signed a nearly $20 billion funding bill for NASA, setting the goal of putting humans on Mars. First to go, everyone working at CNN and MSNBC. San Diego's Stone Brewing has unveiled a beer made with treated sewage water. The recycled water pale ale is called Full Circle. Stone's CEO Pat Tierman says this particular water will just help us not require so much natural water to come in and give us a more reliable source. So for us to be able to reuse, that's part of our mantra. That's part of what we do. It's like the old saying goes, you can't buy beer, you can only rent it. And apparently, you can rent it again and again. In Maplewood, New Jersey, a fifth-grade teacher thought it would be a good idea to have a slave auction where white kids sold black kids. Uh, oh, oh, correction, uh, make that former fifth-grade teacher. There is no coming back from this one with your job intact. FBI Director James Comey confirmed Monday that his agency is investigating possible ties between Donald Trump's campaign and the Russian government. A Trump spokesperson said that the two sides never shared ties or any other clothing. Those packets of wildflower seeds Cheerios is giving away to help grow flowers for honeybees? Turns out in some states those seeds are considered noxious, invasive, and illegal. So uh, be glad you don't work in the General Mills Promotions Department and are in tomorrow morning's emergency meeting. Police in Delaware picked up a 21-year-old Octavio Lopez Hernandez on his third driving under the influence arrest after he was found passed out in the drive through lane of a McDonald's. Master Corporal Mark Hoffman, a Dover police spokesperson, said in a news release that Lopez Hernandez was arrested around 1 a.m. Saturday after police were called to the restaurant. He was taken into custody without incident and charged with third offense DUI, a felony. Sounds like somebody's got a serious drinking problem. A Philadelphia man is suing a New York City bar, saying he was refused service because he was wearing a Make America Great Again hat. Okay, actually, I have to side with the bar owners on this one. I mean, not because you're a Trump supporter, but because it's impolite to wear a hat at the table. Next week, Wells Fargo will become the first major bank to upgrade all of its ATMs so that you can use your cell phone to withdraw money. Just think, you might dial a wrong number and still hit the jackpot! The new Samsung Galaxy S8 will have Samsung's version of Siri called Bixby. Okay, now if it's the voice of Bill Bixby, you'll want to pass. I mean, you do not want to get that guy angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. They struck a deal with the cast of The Big Bang Theory, and so it will stick around for two more seasons and then wrap things up. Good thing. I mean, another couple of years and we'd have had stories about Sheldon living in a nursing home. North Korean tyrant Kim Jong-un has released a propaganda video showing a U.S. aircraft carrier being blown up and a bomber shot down in flames. Okay, n now, now it's getting serious. North Koreans are learning Photoshop. Facebook has introduced a new feature called Town Hall to get users more involved in the political process. Finally! It's about time Facebook created a way for us to talk politics. Trouble in Pennsylvania, where state troopers in Shilekeel County say a 23-year-old woman claimed she shoveled the snow out of a parking spot only to have her 43-year-old neighbor's husband park his pickup in it. Well, the two women started arguing over the issue, and that led to pushing, punching, and ultimately, yes, pulling each other's hair. Both were arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. 
Now, it sounds to me like legislators need to get on the ball as soon as possible and pass a bill to outlaw snow. An Oregon woman is being accused of leaving seven children at her home daycare center while she went to a tanning booth. It's not as irresponsible as it sounds, though. I mean, she did strap them all down with duct tape before leaving so they wouldn't get into trouble. Parents at a Florida school called Innovative Park Middle School want the name changed because of the acronym IPMS. The school hasn't even opened yet, and already they're creating trigger warnings. You know, I would comment about how stupid it is to make this an issue, but you got to admit that as long as it probably took them to come up with the name and all the iterations they probably tried out before settling on this one, you'd think somebody might have written down the acronym at some time just to see what it looked like. Because of the current bread shortage in Venezuela, the government has taken over all of the country's bakeries. Government bread, gee, you know, that sounds like it's going to be some tasty stuff. French authorities called to a robbery location found the suspected thief stuck in a hole he'd made with a hammer in a store window. When police arrived, they found the man half in and half out of the hole. So why can't all criminals be as courteous to law enforcement as this guy? I mean, to capture themselves. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. This episode is made possible in part by my Patreon supporters. For Daily Dose of Weird News.com, I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>